Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are going to be discussing about the Egyptian Revolution, how it started, how it started, what happened, and the aftermath of this little war. So, today we're going to get into the intro, introduction of the story, and how this war came to be from the beginning, and then... For the next couple of parts, it will be towards the end, which probably will be in three videos like my other war. So let's get started with the introduction of how this war began and what started it. On July 2nd of 2023, the king of Kejet, Sarmasagra, a letter to King Harold Sada of Asaja to grant their independence since they had, their, had served their terms from when Harold's father was alive, was alive during the rival wars and after his death on February 14th of two years of a year ago. Harold received the letter and replied saying that he would not grant their independence because they had materials that were very important for the Basajan colony and economy. Basaj responded with a protest by declining the trade with Basaja until they were granted their independence. independence. Harold, fearing that a war would start and losing supply for his economy, decided to grant them their independence and told a commanding officer in charge of one of his colonies to send them a telegram to Ketchup saying that their independence will be granted if they would continue their trade. But unexpectedly, the officer, known as Colonel Robert Fitzgerald Hansen, sent a message to Ketchup saying that their independence wouldn't be granted and that war was declared. Massad responded with the declaration of war and began organizing their soldiers. Harold received alert, the word and had Robert executed on the charges of treason and going against orders. orders. His body was put on display to all officers as a warning that anyone who goes against orders will have an appointment with death. With death. <clears throat> as for Harold, he tried to make peace with Massad, but it was too late. And with no other choice, Harold declared war and prepared his troops for defense. As the Basajas prepared their troops for defense, the, the Egyptians had an, an, made an alliance of a, group of, of a group known as the Bagoan Republic, and their goal was to liberate with their territory from Bulgaria, Basaja, and Gridley. The Bagoan and the Egyptian troops are training for preparation and will launch their attack soon. Basaja's training has been completed and the deployment will soon launch on Wednesday of next week. As, of the, as for the Egyptians and Mongolians, they are sending their troops in the jungle for preparation of an ambush on the advancing enemy, which they knew would be on their way soon. As for Bulgaria, their army is not involved unless they are threatened or attacked by, their, by the enemy. Greatly also is aware of the war and has its troops on guard and, prepa and prepared just in case the enemy invades their territory or does something hostile. The Mongolians and Egyptians have their have their ambush positions ready and are now waiting on the Basajans to pass through. The Basajans have finally organized their troops and are now on the march to Kajet. The Basajans were on their way towards Kajet through the Kanzania jungle, like they did be once before, but they didn't know that what awaited them in the jungle. The Bongoan and Egyptian forces set up barricades to block their advancement, and once the Basajas knew that they were in the trap, the ambush began. Excuse me, guys. Ambush began, and both sides engaged in, firefight, in the firefight, but it resulted with the unit almost wiped out, but only six men had survived and were captured. The Bongoan general that helped the Egyptians set up position for the attack was General Ashba, and the leader of the Egyptian troops was General Ishta, who took part in the ambush. Since these two have prisoners, they began to take them to their base, Fort Mesa, to be held for interrogation. The command center in the colony of Botswana tried to get in contact with the unit to see if they made it to their position, but received nothing but static but had received nothing but static. 
So they immediately sent a soldier by the name of Captain Joseph Porter and a few soldiers to investigate the area where they were traveling. As the troops were on their way to investigate the problem, they came across two people that were from Australia, and they asked if they could join them to the location since they were reporters. Joseph wanted to refuse wanted to refuse but let them come anyway since they were the pol since they were polite and determined when they arrived joseph was shot and disgusted at the aftermath of the site and the, and ordered the two reporters to stay well stay back while he and his men investigate to see what happened to the soldiers as they were checking the perimeter and looking for survivors a soldier began to shout for help, and one of the men had managed to locate the soldier and help him get on his feet. The soldier that was shouting for help was, pri was a private named Luke McClellan. McClellan. McClellan was in the middle of an ambush until a rocket shot the jeep and caused the jeep to crash his leg, resulting in him being injured, and after the ambush was over, he played dead so that the enemy couldn't capture him. And as he lay on his on the ground, he, he overheard two. He overheard the two generals talking and kept the information in his memory. When Captain Joseph met Luke, he asked him questions about what happened, and Luke told him details and gave the information he heard. Joseph McClellan Joseph ordered the soldier that found Luke to take him to the jeep. To rest his foot, and as they got to the jeep, the reporters began to ask him questions, and Luke answered them. And when they were done with him, with Luke, they went to the captain, to to the captain, and asked him to give his statement, which he did, in order for them to get out of his space. And when they were done, they returned to their base and gave the description of what ha what they, and as the reporters got, got what what they had and as the poorest got what they needed they began to send the notes that he had to john pewdishman to to put their documents in the newspaper for everyone to know as of the Bagoans and egyptians they were deciding to prepare an invasion on the italian colonies because it would be the quickest way for them to reach the passage colonies and once they reach the colony the, the colonies Of Pisagin, they will launch a siege. The Pisagins, meanwhile, are producing a new weapon for their army, but it is still in construction, and once it is complete, they would soon test it. As the Egyptians are preparing for an invasion, the Pangoans were ordered to interrogate the prisoners to see if they had any information, and managed to get some information from four prisoners instead of six, and managed to figure out where one of Pisagin's outposts are and their harbors to take in supplies. Assad was happy that they found that they had information and decided to call off the invasion of Greeley, but instead sent his fleet to attack the ports in the Basajan colonies. Basajan colonies and then the Bungoans could launch their counterattack on one of their outposts. Excuse me, guys, I just ate breakfast. <clears throat> the Bungoans and the few Egyptians began to march their way towards the outpost, but they came across a Quartalian convoy that was on their way towards Morocco. General Oshbach ordered his unit to hide in the trees. Hide in the trees and wait until, the, until he gives the order of attack. Oshbach signals the attack, and the firefight between the Quartalians and the Oshbach's unit infuses. After a few, <laughs> so sorry, guys. Um, after a few minutes of firefight, hold on. After a few minutes of gunfire, the battle was won. Ashba and his few men. Captured the remaining battalions and marched them back to Fort Mesa to give Mossad a report about their situation. Mossad was told by Ashba that they had captured one of some battalion prisoners, and soon their nation would find out about the attack. Mossad was angry that Ashba attacked the convoy and gained more casualties after their fight. But Mossad had a plan for the battalions. When the battalions found out about their attack, 
he would know that the Gretanians would head for his country. But before they could reach his country, they need to go through the jungle, which, which they were not familiar with. So he ordered General Ishta and General Ashba to send troops to the Kanzonia jungle and set up defenses. And when they arrived, they would push them back, making it an impossible obstacle for the Italian army. Meanwhile, in Greedily, King Beto received the word about the attack and was outraged by Ketchup interfering in his trade deal with Barocco. Since they killed his men, he decided to declare war on Ketchup and already started to make an alliance with Basaja. King Harold received Beto's request for help and sent troops from his colonies to Gavicinia to help them to help them prepare for an invasion on Ketchup, which they would launch within five days. After five days, the Egyptians and Bengoans have managed to set up a trench along the two Gretanian colonies and have enough troops and weapons to hold the line. As for the Basajans, they knew their new weapon has been built and would soon be launched into battle. The Basajan and Gretanian forces have enough men ready for the offensive and would soon launch their attack around 4 p.m. in the afternoon. The time came for the Allies to launch their attack on the Egyptian Bengoan trenches. The Vasajans had their attack on the East Trench while Greatly goes to attack the West. As the battle between the enemy and Vasajan troops engaged, General Ishta began to enact his last move was to go hand to hand with the Vasajans, which worked, which worked for a while, but Sar Masad called Ish, Ishta and told him along with General Ashba that it was st that s that was still waiting for the battalions to retreat and regroup to at more Fort Mesa. The Basajans lost a few men but were glad that they had the opportunity to launch an invasion on Egypt. As for as for the battalions, when they arrived to the East Trench they were surprised that there wasn't any combat and not a single soldier died on the Eastern Front. The Allies with the opportunity began to to plan their offensive on their way known as the Masad Offensive. The Egyptians and the Bengoans had fought well, but their armies were slowly running out. And if they continued to fight, they would be a lo losing be on the, would be on the losing side of the war. This also meant that if the Ketchup lo loses the war, their independence will be granted and may have to be officially occupied by their enemy. Masad and the leader leader of Bengoans, Chief Wata Ishumbi, began to make their last ditch effort to find another group of soldiers that could help them fight the Gretalians and Basajans. Masad, Masad decided to find, to ride out of their fort to look uh, to look for new allies to help them fight their enemies. And as he looks for allies, Masad put Wata in charge of the, of the fort and let him lead his forces until he finds a group of, or nation that is willing to fight. As Masad was looking for his look for allies, Bulgarian troops from the colony of Benegal began to start, to march their way towards Ga the Gavicinia, towards Gavicinia, and in advance, President Azul sent a letter to King Harold letting him know that. He is sending troops to help him. The troops have arrived and the Allies began to prepare a counterattack on Friday morning. As for Masad, he finally found Allies that could help him in this war. The group he encountered were a tribe of men waiting for the, an opportunity to fight and gain their country. So Masad and the leader of the tribe made a deal that if they could help them win the war, they could have their own land. Masad and the tribe began to make their way towards Fort Mesa and began preparing defenses against the allies and as for the prisoners they ca as for the prisoners they captured they were brought to work on the defenses as well as Masad's army were setting up defenses the allies began to slowly move through the jungle to reach the outskirts of Ketchup. Colonel Sigmund of the colonial forces sent a telegram to the king asking for artillery and supplies. Harold received the telegram and sent one back telling Sigmund that their artillery and, art and supply requests would be granted and would arrive, at the, would arrive at their position within the day. Harold also sent a ship to their colonies bringing a new weapon that they made for testing. 
The supplies for Sigmund and the carrier has arrived and are now on their way towards the position that the soldiers were resting and gaining intelligence before they could launch their attack on Fort Mesa. The siege of Fort Mesa began on Saturday, August 11th, 2023, around 1.29 p.m. The Allies began their attack by letting Basajan tanks weaken the first lines of defense, which did some progress, and then the Basajans launched artillery bombardment on the first line on the first lines to give the infantry a chance to take the second line of defenses. The, bar, the bombardment also did some success, but the enemy had art, also had artillery and destroyed theirs, which would lead more more and more soldiers to die. So, which would mean lead um which would lead on the f which would lead the final attack which would be a massive charge the armies charged the fort and managed to take first and second defenses but as they were moving closer the artillery continued to fire killing more and more soldiers so in desperation sigmunds called in their new weapon to help their advance and soon their weapons came which are the first fighter planes that basaja had built and more and and managed to wipe out the art enemy's artillery. The art allies breached the walls and fought any resistance that was left, and once the allies took the fort, they found one of the enemy generals along with some soldiers that surrendered. Sigmund, after taking over the fort, after taking over and holding the prisoners captive, he ordered his men to take down the kitchen flag and replace it with the Basaja flag as a marker of victory, and then would later call and then later called in reinforcements to, to occupy the fort. As for Masad and Tyro, he heard about the defeat of Mesa. As for Masad and Tyro, he heard about the defeat of Mesa and ordered his soldiers to Pair defenses in the city since he knew his enemies would be on their way and also created a plan to stall the allies for a while which is to send his fleet to attack the harbors of the Gretalian and Basajan colonies so that they so that the allies couldn't rely on supplies from the home country from their home country. Basaj ordered the fleet to prepare before nightfall because he wanted to launch his fleet at night. The fleet arrived at the ports of Gabacinia and launched their attack with a bombardment on, from their fleet and sunk two Gretalian ships, but the Gretalians were prepared and sunk two of their ships, which was a huge loss for Ketchup. Since Ketchup had lost their chance to weaken the Allies, Mossad had all all the men that he had left to fight to f that all the men he had left to fight to defend the city. As they wait for the enemy their enemy to arrive. As they wait for the enemy to arrive, the Admiral of the Gretalian fleet, Admiral, Admiral Alessandro Marino, was awarded for his action in defeating the Egyptians and would aid them during their plan, attack, plan to attack the enemy ports to destroy the rest of their ships, which would take in place in a couple of days because the ship, most of the ships were destroyed, were damaged, and needed time to repair. As for the troops, they were prepared and ready to advance on the city, but they would launch their attack within a couple of days as well. It has been a couple of days, and the battle for Tyro began. The Egyptians, Bongoans, and mercenaries tried their best to defend the city using mines, tanks, light, and heavy artillery to keep their enemy out. But the Allies were once again prepared and managed to break through the defenses and wipe out the resistance. In the aftermath of the battle, the Allies won with... In the aftermath of the battle, the Allies won with capturing four prisoners. Mossad's last defense for the independence had, has failed, and realized that if he continues to fight, his army will be non-existent, and civilians would have to face grief and would overthrow him. So in the last few minutes he had, Mossad wrote a letter to Harold letting him know that he and his allies surrendered and would like to negotiate terms. The next morning, Mossad's letter was received by King Harold by Harold, and he accepted Mossad's offer to exchange prisoners, so he ordered Sigmund to release the prisoners to Mossad and retrieve the ones Mossad had and bring them to their armies. Also, Harold also planned to meet Mossad in Greenland, 
later in the afternoon to exchange terms of peace. The leaders met with Leon, who is the president of Greenland and head leader of the MIPR Council, to discuss terms of peace. Harold decided to give Ketchup its independence as long as they could, could supply them with 30% of their resources. The song was glad that they had their independence and decided to give 30% of their, of their training supply to make reparations. As for the two nations that served with Basacha, they agreed to, ter to the terms and didn't want anything except Ketchup, except for Ketchup to leave their supplies alone. The new tribes were declared as new countries of Alaska, which were known as the Bungoan Republic and, B and Bigeria, which would soon be added to the MIPR Council and trade system. With the war over, the nations could finally have peace and be not be involved with another incident like this again. The total number of casualties from this war, from this short war, was 875. And also, just to give clarification, the issue that started this war happened on July 2nd, but the actual war itself then started on July 6th. And the end of the war resulted in a month and a few, couple weeks in August, which on August 17th, 2023, was when the war was over. Okay, now we're going to get into the announcements. <clears throat> Okay, so for announcements, um, tomorrow is going to be the actual first part of the Army Man Tour, which is where I'm going to be showing you my shelves over there with different stuff and give you a brief description of what you eat, of each container, or actually, not the shelves, well, I'm just going to put the bins on the bed and show you what each bin has, what nations they represent. There's some that are mixed, there's some that are not mixed, and there's some that are separate. So, yeah. Uh, basically, tomorrow is going to be the first part, and I haven't decided on which part to show you. So, I'm probably going to do the historical side first, and then for part two, it's going to be the army men nations. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.